myself annamalai kumarapan i'm working as a senior delivery head in bhavan cybertech dubai uh let's begin with a very simple question mr anna <clears throat> how was life before zenith life before zenith was like frustrated irritated on small things which happens not listening to people fully no empathetic listening it goes on before coming to zenith so let me ask you this number one of course how has that changed how is uh, anna version 2.0 different from anna version 1.0 and how has most importantly working on your internal communication transformed the relationships that we share with the people around you and now 1.0 was here he could have not allowed afrin to complete he could have just jumped upon and say that hey afrin this is what you are trying to say so i know what you are, what i should respond but i was composed sitting quiet listening to you fully once you are done then i am taking my time to respond so this is the change in anna 2.0 and regarding the internal communication the last assignment which i have done with uh, after one on one with gurlin ma'am is a game changer purely a game changer so i was having certain incidents which is always running on my mind so whenever i have uh, i sit for my food immediately after one or two mouths i get hiccups because that incident happened during the lunch time so always it remembers it's more than now 30 28 to 30 years would be uh, so when i am 8 9 years old this incident happened so always whenever i sit for my lunch dinner breakfast anything after two three bites i will get hiccups but after doing this assignment it's drastically reduced i would say rather very rarely one or two times in last one week's time so that's the great uh, you know uh, i never thought that uh, by just doing one simple thing your 30 years of struggle will go off that's that's really an amazing uh so let me ask you this now being intelligent in your communication how has the way that you lead your teams changed how have you filled in the little gaps in the way that you lead people okay so actually i handle 32 countries we have a project which is going on in 32 countries uh, where we have uh, multiple resources deployed so it's always a tough time uh, you know to handle the team uh, basically these are at field level where the people the office environment and the field environment is completely different you will have lot of challenges in the field which you have to face the customer on the front end many challenges used to happen so most of the time before if you ask me anna 1.0 i used to get frustrated walk down if there is a pressure i get uh, you know shouting to someone else for no reason he might have not done any mistake but the pressure has to release somewhere so normally it releases on the weak line so the weak line is your ultimate the bottom line resources so most of the time that used to happen but nowadays last two months there is no such incident which is happening i whatever the pressure comes i absorb the pressure i don't allow it to go inside and you know change my uh, characteristics which is supposed to be i remain as a water try to uh, work out on or look for the possible solutions to get how the things can be sorted out and putting a proper structured way of sorting the uh, problems and proceeding it further so this has given two three uh, you know uh, changes in the way of the team thinks one even the team is thinking that okay uh, he's doing something changes which is having a better input outputs that's one and second thing is uh, now the communications are in a more structured way not in an unstructured way so it is structured way uh, it is planned in advance how it has to be uh, normally when we respond to most of the emails we put the problem and close the email nowadays no we put the problem that we come up with solutions solution also we give minimum two options option 1 this option 2 this so you please let us know what you want to go earlier it was not like that so there is a big change on the communication uh, not only communication the way of looking the problem so these are all some of the changes which are simple uh this is the question that i'm very curious to ask you about what have you now realized is the difference between communication skills and communication intelligence I have attended a couple of training on communication skills. Normally, what they do is they'll say that you have to use very sophisticated uh, language words. You should use some new words so that people will think that oh, you know, much better than others. And 
all all this were like you know they'll give excellent presentations which they'll give you some uh, uh, real life examples that's it they'll say that okay if you follow this you will able to achieve but we never follow that but what i found with uh, communication intelligence is working from the basics that's very very important working on the basics that too i love the way you berlin ma'am takes care of it like you know you are holding a kid when we join on the school the teacher holds our hand and walk through along with us or write along with us and when we are writing for the first time so you or berlin ma'am used to sit and focus on each and every one's topics and you will force us to speak that's the main thing because normally what happens when we go for any training normally the trainer will used to take the training we were sitting idle or we were thinking on something else most of us doesn't open the mouth we'll just ramp up after the session is over but here no i have to speak every day every session whichever i come i have to say what has happened what has changed so this you know makes okal much more okal than sitting silent that's that's the difference which i have seen so allow me to ask you how have different elements of your life flourished because of communication intelligence first one is my family they are very happy nowadays even though i i focus more time on work but still i whenever they come to me for any uh, specific discussion or something i keep aside for that few minutes and then i listen to them fully that has changed that is that way my wife and son is very happy on that and i give priority to them earlier i used to you know give priority to the work now i give priority to my family and then comes the work and uh, on my team side uh, the team is uh, you know uh, visualizing there is some change in me they are not able to exactly spell out what has happened because they operate from a different location i operate from a different location but they are saying some changes are there which is happening in you uh, the communications are much more structured the things are uh, the customer escalations are handled in a different way okay that's and on the other side of it internally i am feeling more satisfied no stress at all even though stress are there it's not uh, you know disturbing me and uh one thing what i learned is unlearn fast and learn slow letting it go the things because you cannot control everything you have to let it go certain things so started letting it go few things which are beyond my controls um you've already talked about it but uh, if you want to elaborate a little more on how have the people in your life started seeing you differently you know your family your colleagues your supervisors your clients have they Uh, started seeing you differently and are you noticing the way that they're now perceiving you yes that's true actually on the family side as i said earlier they are pretty happy with the changes which is which i have brought in so you're leading 32 countries in the africa region and uh, you have a lot of people under you you have so many years of experience behind you so i'm very curious to know as a corporate professional what are some mistakes that you think other professionals very uh, generally very unnecessarily make when it comes to their communication see one as most of the time the people don't listen to the bottom line that's the biggest drawback the second thing is you don't listen you respond to listen that's the another problem so you don't you don't want to listen fully you want to respond so you listen and the humanitarian uh, many cases you know the people won't look on the humanitarian angle they'll just look very professional but that cannot work anymore uh, with lot of ai and other things started coming in you have you need people to do certain work so you have to have that humanitarian touch has to be there always please it's very very important to make sure that that human connection stays there otherwise what are we doing all of this for and what you said about feedback i think that's also very important because um i think a lot of people approach life approach their careers with the mindset that we want to grow but uh, i think it takes us way too long to realize that the foundation of growth lies in feedback so i think that's a very very uh, beautiful point that you have uh, put forward um you mentioned about girlin ma'am strana and uh, she has been your mentor through this journey So allow me to ask you this and you've also mentioned that you know you've done a lot of trainings in the past uh, 
I'm sure within and outside your company. So what makes Greenlean Map different as a mentor? So as I said, uh, she's kind of like not a mentor, I would say. She's a very warm, kind teacher, I would rather say, who knows what her student needs and she takes care of that properly and she ensures that uh, I am able to achieve that result. That's the main. Other mentors or other coach, what they do is basically they'll just give you some insight or they'll put you, give you some dump. They say that, okay, this is what it is. You can continue read this. You will get the outputs. But Colin Ma'am is not like that. She is a different kind of mentor. She ensures that you are getting it done. And she gives an assignment as per the individual needs. It's not a common assignment. If there are 15 students are there, for 15 uh, people she has to mentor, she will ensure that all 15 gets a different assignments so that what is needed for them. That's the biggest thing which I have seen here. Everyone gives you a common assignment which might not fit for your requirement, which might not fit for your uh, need because you might be doing good in that. Still, doing that assignment will not give you any output. So that's one. And then uh, second one is she is like, you know, more easily approachable because many mentors doesn't allow them to approach easily they'll form up uh, they'll put a limitations okay you have to come like this you have to do this one to reach out to me but she's not like that she's very you know kind enough to reach we can reach her anytime these are the difference which i have seen you're very right mr Anna. and before uh, you know before i sort of share what I love and what you just said. Let me just say that our hope is that you continue reaching out and our hope is that you continue staying in touch because members like you are what make the Zenith community special. And Gurleen Mam always says, once a Zenith, always a Zenith. Is communication intelligence important for all working professionals? And if yes, why? It's absolutely very important because you want to really want to grow in a corporate environment. You have to get your uh, SWOT and personality assessments done, which gives you a very clear cut position where you stand, where you have to improve. And then a kind of techniques like Kaizen after all these are very, very important when you grow on up on your ladder in the corporate organizations. So I'm sure that Communication intelligence is very, very of the important uh, parameter for the people who are aiming to grow on a senior management level in the corporate. I would say thanks. Thank you to Zenith community. Thank you to our friend, to Lin Ma'am for giving this opportunity. I'm humbled, honored to be part of this community. Thank you. And we are honored to have you, Mr. Anna. Thank you so much.